Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and testing of this thing that I got yesterday. It's called the Keto Healthcare and it's a, a breath meter for ketones. I was excited when I saw this. One, because it's 50 bucks and I used to have the Ketonics uh, breath meter test and that one was almost 200 bucks and it wasn't working that well. So for 50 bucks, if it doesn't work, then I can't be as mad. But hopefully it's good enough that we can actually get a close range of where our ketones are without having to you know, buy the expensive uh, blood strips. I do have a few more blood strips that I can use so I can compare both the, res the results here. But first let's do the unboxing. All right, so first thing we see is the user manual. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six mouthpieces. It's just the unit by itself. And it looks like that's it. All right, so not too much in here. Good thing I just didn't do a unboxing video. That would've been done quick. Let me read the instructions real quick. Okay, it looks like we're gonna put a mouthpiece on this. These things are hard to get out of. Okay, let's open this up like this. The round piece goes on the outside. Okay, we need some batteries. Now, the last one I had to warm up, so let's see if this one needs to warm up. It does feel a little cheap. Press the power button for two seconds whereby the device will turn on and beep. One, two. Three color lights will appear on the device screen and within 10, 30 seconds, the device will be operational. Once warmed up is complete, the device will beep and, sig and signify the blow instruction. It says blow, B-L-O. And it says hold the mouthpiece in your mouth and blow with reasonably strong intensity over a period of 10 seconds. Breathe from the end of your breath. Do not take a deep breath beforehand. It is recommended that the user blows for the full 10 seconds so that there is sufficient time for the sensor to detect the ketones within the breath. It turned itself off, so I, I got, I'm gonna do it again. But just before I continue, I, this is early in the morning. I haven't eaten anything since last night, 8 p.m. It's actually 6.45 right now, so I am fasted. I plan to do this with my wife. She went to pick up the car, so we, uh, we're gonna have two test results and then we'll do the blood to compare with both of them. So let me try this again. It does give me a 20 second countdown. Okay, it says blow. That was 10 seconds. Ooh, point zero four. Zero point zero four. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions and I'll do it again just to see if the number goes down. Uh, the reading of ketone breath meters. Once the full blow period has been completed, the device will report the necessary reading will showing results on the screen. Readings of zero signify the person is not in a state of ketosis. Reading of 0 0.01 signify the person is in a light state of ketosis. Readings of 0 0.02 and above signify the person in, is in full state of ketosis. So anything from 0 0.02 and higher, you're in ketosis. I got a 0 0.04, so that's a good sign right there. I'm gonna do it again. Ooh, that was the last one. So 0 0.03, I expect it to go down, obviously, because uh, I just used the breath, and supposedly the ketones are in the backside, like the, la the last part of the breath. Um, so one, I'm talking a lot, two, I just did it. So if I do another one, and if it's above 0 0.02, that's a good sign, <clears throat> considering that that's still considered above ketosis. I did start late, and I took a breath before. That still says 0 0.02 though, so I'll take that. All right, I'm gonna wait for my wife to get here for to do, do it with her again. In the meantime, I'm going to do my blood tests. Yeah. 0.6, I'm right in that state of ketosis. That's not a crazy number. Uh, like when I fasted, I was at 1.9, but I'm in ketosis, that's all that matters. I'm happy with that. And so we'll continue this when Megu shows up and then we'll do it with her. All right guys, so I could not get Megu to do it in the morning because we've been busy running around. Uh, again, it is our busiest season. So after I left, she came home and she did the test herself. So she got a 0.02 on the, on the breath meter and she got a a 0 0.7 on the blood ketones and so uh, the 0 0.02 meaning that she's uh, deep into ketosis 
0.7 really is not deep into ketosis. This morning I ate a McDonald's breakfast. I got a video on that if you want to check it out. It should be really keto friendly. So I'm going to test the breath ketones again just to see if it changed. And then after that I'm going to eat a big salad which is also keto friendly. And about 30 minutes later I'm going to do another breath test and a blood test just to see if it changes at all. Woo! I barely made it. 0.02, which means I'm still in ketosis. So I am going to eat a big, massive salad. All right, guys, so it's been about 30 minutes since I finished the salad. Like I said, it was keto friendly, so I don't expect it to throw me out of ketosis, but we'll see right now. All right, that, that time I didn't make it to 10 seconds, but I still got 0.02, which is the same as last time. And now I'm gonna use my very last ketone sh blood strip. This is the last one. I don't expect to buy any more after this, uh, even if this thing breaks because they're too expensive. All right, it says 0.4. So there you have it. The breathalyzer test is still saying that I'm in deep ketosis. The blood test is saying I'm out of ketosis. 0.4 and it's supposed to be 0.5. It does read the ketones. It's not super accurate, but I guess for now it's better than nothing, especially when each one of those blood sticks is $3. Uh, let me know if you know of any other products that's better than this one. Like I said, I used a ketonic stick before. That didn't work out so well either. Um, so I'm just gonna keep using that to see how consistent it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Plus, we're getting ready to go on vacation to Japan. So we're gonna finish up the road trip that we didn't finish last year because of my broken ankle. And yeah, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.